Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Lost. I'm Salosa, and Mr. Kiriov is here for our continuing, well, the continuation of our This War of Mine Let's Play. And we are about to feed Boris, who has come back from the dead and is a man of absolute means and ultimate worth. But unfortunately, Pavel has died in his place. So well, <laughs> it's... you see, like, I like Pavel, but Pavel, he just didn't have that impact Boris had, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, <what's> it? <laughs> <laughs> we should probably read the bios. Uh,. I managed to kill a bandit and come back alive, but it was very dangerous. Couldn't we have done anything? Did Pavel really have to die? Oh, yeah. The, have, we, have we actually done a proper bio? I don't know if we have. Uh, no, we'll go back to it. <laughs> Arika killed a bandit, good riddance, one scum less to take advantage of helpless people. Hmm. But then Pavel died. I have to make sure we have enough food, bandages and meds in case I need them. What the? I need them? It's the fucking team spirit, Bruno, you piece of shit. I'm not sure what to think about Arika's deed. The guy was a bandit, but was killing him necessary? Yes, it absolutely she, was. She was backed into a corner? He was going to open up on her with an assault yeah. rifle? Sadly, Pavel was beyond saving. Taking a pragmatic view there. Come here, Boris. We'll keep, we'll keep bandaging you up, kid. Does he still need meds? No. No, he's just... Uh, the militia. Uh... What? Yeah, but are they like the... Are they like the, the good I guys? I don't know, I don't think... Cause... I don't think so, I don't think they're the army. They said they're militia, not army. Yeah, but, are the, ar talk yeah, but are the army good? This is the thing we don't know. We, we, we never know, do we? We don't know, you know what I mean? It's like we this don't know... This is true. I think we we got to say hello. That if they know we're here, I mean they, that could, could just be a ploy. But <laughs> oh shit, what is this? Hi guys. God. Fucking hell. Oh. Oh no. Citizens, several days ago, someone from this neighbourhood stole supplies from a humanitarian aid container. Those supplies are vital to us. There's a reward for helping season the culprit. One of your neighbours was reportedly sniffing around the container. And we have reasons to believe he took those supplies. Can you confirm our suspicions? Well, yeah. Shit, we went and helped him with that. Yeah, but he won't... Like... Hang on. Yeah, but we could say... Yeah, we shouldn't really distance ourselves, should we? We shouldn't go, oh, yeah, we, yeah, that guy. Yeah, no, we don't know. We don't know nothing. Sorry, mate. Yeah, but we, we don't know, mate. <laughs> I, I bet See, you look, they, they're just... Yeah, they ain't interested in actually catching someone. They just want to make an example of someone. Yeah. We can refresh your memory. Fuck them. Hmm. I knew they weren't the, the the official lads. I think there's meat in the trap there. Yeah, let's get the meat. Oh, there is. Yeah. Meat. We've also got loads of moonshine, so we should probably... Uh... Is, he re is he recovering? Oh, yeah, he's recovered. Awesome. It's not... It's not um... Oh, he ain't broken. Let's have a look at his bio. What's he saying? Between the rebels and the military, we have to stick together yeah. to survive. I'm glad we did not confirm the soldier's suspicions regarding the neighbour. Yeah, damn right. Okay. We're uh, just going to grass someone up, are we? No, unless we could get away with it. <laughs> but we, we were complicit <laughs> in the crime. So, uh, yeah. Right, Boris, you're the man of the house. Um, you know what? You could go and get a hammered with Bruno. Yeah, no, Boris, you're not going to bed. <laughs> Boris, you are. Uh... Boris, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, Boris. Hmm. Boris, I think we should. Uh... You know what? You're not even. You're not even hungry, Boris. So we don't even need to do that. What can we? What does it take to upgrade this? I think we've got like a real bad problem with. Uh... Yeah, we need. We just need resources again, don't we? Really. And bandages. I think so. Yeah. Resources and bandages. We're not doing, not doing too bad for food, really. No, no. No, I think we're doing all right for food, actually. I mean, we've got. I mean, we might get robbed in the night, which could be bad. We've got a shitload of medication, which never gets stolen. But we can leave the assault rifle back home. It's not that cold, is it? It's easier to fall in when it's so cold. Should we... You know, should we maybe see if we can just build the heater and stick it down in here, just yeah, in case? Yeah, it might be worth it.
Yeah, he looks like we can. Oh, we can, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we need to do that, really. It's probably going to take fuel, but, well, we've got a load of books. I don't books. think he's going to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no. Boris, no. But Boris. Boris, what you do? <laughs> Christ almighty. <laughs> We're invincible, I tell you. <laughs> he's screaming. We're invincible. Uh... So yeah. everybody's pissed and Boris has fell apart. Um, we'll give we'll give uh, we'll give Boris the assault rifle. <laughs> Unless he surely needs the <laughs> knife. I hope he doesn't shoot himself. Oh come on, Boris! Oh Boris, Boris come on! He could have done that if he didn't fanny about. Oh, God hopeless. damn it! All right. Um, no, you know what? Boris can go in bed. Bruno can guard. I know he's severely wounded, but I don't like his face. She's got to go out and scavenge. Okay. I think go back to the warehouse again. Yeah, I do as well. Because we know that one guard is dead. So, yeah, we definitely don't need the assault rifle. We can just hide and mug someone if necessary. So we'll take two knives. Um, yeah. I don't, oh, two knife we... Arica. Should we take that? You know, I'll leave that. I guess the defense yeah, will use that. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, mm, yeah, and no, I maybe leave that. Just in case. It's a shame we ain't got a saw blade, but all right. Yeah, okay. All right, let's do it. That'll do. We've got a lot of stuff to trade as well. You know what? We're not doing that bad. I thought, I thought we'd had it, but it looks like we've managed to pull ourselves together. They're tough. They're tough, these survivors, son. They're tough. Oh, shit. Somebody was there. They can piss off. We... We're only here to uh, have a look round. I'm trying to see if any doors are opening, but it doesn't look like they are. Yeah. Oh, so he's gone upstairs? There's someone at the, yeah, there's someone at the top, but... Can we hide in the alcove and, and mug him when he yeah. comes downstairs? Enough for now. Food, I think Enough he's just had some food. He's in the fridge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. What Go about patrol. What about if we make noise? How can we make noise? And then just hide in... Uh... Oh. Oh, 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 this could be good. This could be good. Maybe we can get in behind him, you know. This is very risky, though. Yeah. He's but got that door closed, though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, we're dead. Fucking hell. Wait, just run wait. for exit. Oh, don't run towards him. We can't ah. do nothing. We couldn't do nothing. God. I, I, I clicked it, hoping that he might not do anything, because he was just stand, you know, like, get out. Type yeah, of yeah. But if we had our knife out, you see, and he would have been like, the thing is, right, I know it's a loss, but at least you didn't lose Christ. the AK. <laughs> Shit. God. See, I was like, what do you do? Because I, I couldn't just stay there, because we did that before, didn't we? We got shot. Yeah, we yeah. We were stuck, because we just could not get out of there. He, he turned around too quick. Um, I didn't expect it. I thought he'd stay on that balcony a bit longer. I, I thought we'd have yeah. time to get to that cover before we came out, but he just walked straight back in. Bollocks. Christ, Boris was angry and argued with Bruno. <sighs> okay. Well. They're both they're both broken. Yeah. Boris is lethally wounded. Bruno's lethally wounded. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. That oh Christ almighty. I don't want to get killed like Arika. Maybe I could stay in the shelter while someone else goes out to search for supplies. Why is Bruno actually the one who survives to the end? <laughs> he was the worst of all of them. I, so there is literally nothing we can do. Now I know some people have said in the comments that if we leave it, 
uh, you will get the full rest from being in bed, but instead of just skipping to the day. But I'm not sitting here and doing nothing. We literally cannot do nothing. No, we can't tell him to do a damn thing. I have no idea what we're going to do. That I guess we just don't go out. I guess we just stay. Like you're going to have to guard, Bruno. Yeah, we can't. And Boris, stay. We in can't bed. actually go anywhere. Huh? We've got to stay. Christ. Made it to day 22, though. That's not bad. That's not bad, is it? Day 22. Oh. Oh, Bruno's left. Son of a bitch. He better not have fucking but left with a gun, bro. He's fucking leafy, <laughs> wound. Oh, that's why he left. Okay. <laughs> well, I should laugh. <laughs> Shit. Like it even Oh, matters. what? Come on. But... Really? Didn't make it. Didn't make it, bloke. You've got 22 days later. I know it was 28. Got. What's that? We, we got ruined. Oh, it's a story. Oh, this is quite funky. Yeah, we're so day two, fridge. we robbed a defenseless elderly couple. <laughs> son. Day four, we helped someone. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, come on, Maybe son. felt unsafe. I just helped. You're the rater. <laughs> uh, day nine, we got shot by a sniper. <laughs> oh no, Bruno, uh, the neighbor's brother got wounded by a sniper. Bruno helped carry him to safety. Yeah, damn right. Day eleven, Boris helped a man who was wounded by a sniper while coming home to a sick child. Day twelve, K Katia died. R.I.P. <laughs> Katia. That was a bad day. Never forget. Fucking hell. What the, the hell? What's going on there? Day nineteen, Arika killed a bandit. And uh, day 20, Pavel died of severe wounds. Christ. Uh, the bloody warehouse. Oh, day 20, rebel investigation. Rebel soldiers asked if our neighbour had stolen supplies. We lied and denied it. Damn right. Got to protect the people. Day 20, Arika died while looking for supplies. RIP again, Arika. Oh, day 22, Boris died of severe wounds. Bloody day 22 again. Bruno just left and did not return, but he had lethal wounds as well, so good luck to him for that. I don't believe that Bruno actually was the one who survived out of all of it. I... That is disgusting. I don't even like Bruno, bloke. I don't even like Bruno. Katia never found her parents, but they did find a grave one day with a war diary buried alongside. They published it without any alterations. It became a bestseller. Pavel died. Will his family come back to Pogrin to visit his grave one day? Or would it be too painful? A reminder of what they had gone through. Do the dead even care? Christ. Tough girl as she was, Arika died. Harsh reality of living in a ghetto could not be compared to the horrors of war. What would have become of her if she'd survived? We will never know. Bruno left the shelter one night. He was trying to reach his friend and got shot while attempting to slip <laughs> between army pickets. Oh, so he did die. Okay. Luck has finally abandoned Boris. Not much of a surprise for him. His strength was not enough to keep him alive. In a just universe, he'd be with his son now. Well, cheers, game. That's... <laughs> well, there you go. God. Ladies, gentlemen. That is this war of mine, and I think we did okay. We did not survive. <laughs> we, did, we did all right, and then it was just like, as soon as uh, uh, Arika got killed, that was it. We got destroyed. Holy hell. Well, ladies and gentlemen, leave a comment below if you did like the uh, the series. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time, people. Toodaloo.